Now joining us is the Shadow Trade and Tourism Minister, Kevin Hogan. Uh, Kevin, uh, yeah, busy day, a few days actually, for the Prime Minister there over in India. He's to meet uh, Narendra Modi again today for the annual Leaders' Summit. Renewables and tech to be the focus. Now, a um, few stats here. India has ambitious goals of 50% renewable, 30% electric vehicle usage by 2030. How can we help them go green? Well, we have a lot of critical minerals and rare else, Pete, that will really help with that. But look, this is a really exciting development, Pete. I mean, China have a population of around 1.4 billion, as do India. India's population is increasing. China seems to be decreasing. And if you look at our exports and what we sell to China relative to India, there's a lot of gap between the two. So we've got a lot of work we can do to improve mm. um, our trading relationship with India. We, as a previous government, as you would remember, signed an agreement with them just before we left power. Um, the new government is building on that, taking a really exciting delegation over there now. So, look, with those targets you just mentioned, they need certain critical minerals, rare earths, we have a lot of those. But they're also very exciting for us as well in places like, you know, I saw Deakin Universities opening a campus um, in, in health services as well. There's big opportunities for Australia and India, looking forward to it to developing. Yeah, well, defence and security also a focus. Uh, this all comes in the lead up to uh, the subs announcement next week in the United States. But what are your hopes there, defence and security between us and India? Well, AUKUS, as we know, is a really important relationship that we have. Um, the, uh, I think the former Prime Minister, one of his legacies will be the announcement that he made with nuclear submarines, and I know you've just had a chat on air about that. So that's, again, I think really important for our national security. Um, if the announcement, we've seen the news reports about the Virginia class potential announcement next week. Now, if yeah. that gets announced, there will be bipartisan support for that. I mean, obviously, as a previous government, we led that charge, um, and to their credit, the new government have kept going with that, that that program. So very important for our national security, those relationships as well with India, um, Japan, America, the UK, very important relationships. Yeah, but from a trade perspective, I mean, what, what, are you, what would you be impressing upon the Prime Minister? Uh, what would you be um, see, seeking to eke out from India over the next, well, little while while he's there in India? Well, look, we, you know, we, the first agreement that we did it was a preliminary agreement. It wasn't comprehensive. We got some good access for different ag products and, and other things. But, look, I think what they want, I mean, what Australia has, and it's a, important not just to India, it's actually important to the EU as well, and the new government is trying to negotiate a deal with them. We have a good supply of rare earths and critical minerals. And what do they do? Well, they build, you know, the, when you build an electric vehicle, you need much more different things than a conventional vehicle. And you need the minerals and rare earths that we're talking about. Also with renewable energy, solar panels, all those type of things. Now, the current country that has a lot of those and, and has a supply chain almost a monopoly on it at the moment is China. Um, people are trying to lower their exposure to China with those supply chains. So we are a great option for other countries around the world to do that. And we need to use that advantage to get access for a lot of other products that we want to sell into them. Okay, Kevin, appreciate it. We'll talk to you again next week.